All right, so I'm going to talk about the cooperations of the Motivic with Komoji spectrum. I don't, I don't know if that's the official name, but I just didn't know a better one. And so I will work in SHK. So this is stable. Motivic. Motivic category. Um, so it's just a, a T1 spectrum. Okay, and I will always assume the characteristic of K is not two. All right. You told me no introductions necessary, so I won't really explain what this object is. So let me briefly go back to like the classical story and, and make a brief comparison. So um If we, look, if we look at the, the classic homotopy category, then if we take a point, we can build the sphere spectrum by taking infinite suspension. And if we take homotopy groups by zero of this thing, we will get Z, right? And we can take the co-connective cover of that thing and we get the, the Hamburg McLean spectrum, which represents singular cohomology. Okay. And so in, in this setting, you can show that the atom spectral sequence of HZ, or for HZ, I guess, converges to the stable homotopy groups of, of the sphere spectrum. Okay, and there's there's no conflictions here. And yeah, so you can do this like one prime at a time. So you can instead look at Atom speckled sequence for HZ mod P, and that thing converges to the, the P completion. But this the story here, the fact that um, the fact that here the atom speckled sequence converges to the to the homotopy groups of spheres kind of tells us that is that HZ, P? I mean, in the form of, in the completion, you have P, right? Not theta yet. You, you're right. Thank you. Um, but the, the first fact here tells us that HZ, in a sense, sees, or at least for connected things, um, all stable connective information. So, we can use HZ to, to uh, investigate in an SH. Um, but typically, this is not the same, right? So here, if we look at the motivic story, we take point, take infant suspension, we get sphere spectrum. But then if we take pi 0, 0, um, we get the Gordnick with group. And that thing, I, mean, I can give a couple examples, but that thing in general is not just Z. So, so algebraically closed field, it will be Z or even quadratically closed. But if you take I don't know, R, Z, C2, the group ring over C2, and if you take a finite field, it's also some more information of TR, I guess. So um, this suggests that just looking at the degree theory won't really be enough. Um, so there is quadratic information 
um, on top of of degree theory that needs to be understood. And in the motivic stable category. Um, another, like one way to, to also recognize that this is not all there is. Um, so if you look at the atom speckle sequence for motivic homology, uh, let me just call this HMZ for a second. This is non standard notation, obviously. Um, but motivic cohomology is, is the analog of a single cohomology for schemes. And, but here, if this converges to the eta completed multiple groups of spheres. So multiple cohomology is not the eta so where like maybe I should say eta here. Um, stable version of the half map. Okay. So there's there's a little more going on here that, that we need to understand. Um, all right, so but we can we can decompose. So we have um a convex square. Um, where this is the width group, it's just given by the Grotnik width group modulo of the hyperbolic. So here H um, is hyperbolic. Okay, it's just the rank maps. Um, so we can hope that we can just decompose the Grotnik group like this, and then have a similar decomposition in, in the homotopy category. So if we take effective covers of the corresponding um, homotopy modules, we get a homotopy pullback. Which homotopy module do you take for the width group? Powers of the fundamental ideal or just with, with rings? Um, so I'll, I'll take the, the width one. So where this is. Um, nuts. But I. You take the yeah take the, the cofiber in in the homotopy module yeah. category. I mean in in uh, positive degrees it is given by power so the fundamental ideal right yeah exactly yes yes so it's given by width uh, everything zero and below and given by the powers of the ideal yeah yeah thanks. um Right, so we get this homotopy pullback. And my idea, maybe I don't know. Maybe let me let me say a little more briefly about the, the things that we have here. So because my notation is slightly changed. Um so this is motivic homology. Um, or it represents shell groups also. 
groups. So let's have mod two. Mod two. Um, this is the Milner width. Um, which represents Chawit groups. Um, so this thing here, um, this is the width one, the width cohomology. And so it kind of represents the, the Chawit groups mod H. And um, in a sort, you can think of it as like an, a quadratic analog of, of uh, HC mod two, but where H replaces the two here. Okay. And what I wanted to do was to, to try and understand the, the quadratic information by, um, instead of looking at the Stirnard algebra of this thing or like of that thing, I wanted to see what the dual Stirnard algebra of this is. So that's, that's my attempt of, of trying to understand. So the goal, compute HWZ, HWZ, um, so in pursuit of, Quadratic understanding. Okay. So Wojewski has computed this, the dual student algebra of this thing, and let me recall what this is. So it's given as a polynomial algebra in an infinite number of degrees over the coefficient ring. Um, so that's tau zero, tau one, S one, C one, C two, C one, and then there's a small amount of relations. We're just, if you square the tau i, we get something in terms of so I plus one, XCI plus one. And that thing's pretty nice. Also has a bunch of really nice consequences like the uh, Locato conjecture. And one, one nice thing about this is that this is, this is free over the coefficient ring, um, which, which one can see very easily. And let me tell you the, uh, the result for the, the width one. Okay, so with the base field, be nice. I, I'm going to say maybe later what that means. Then there are elements. So. The reals are not nice, right? Sorry, the reals are not nice, unfortunately. Yeah. But yeah, that would probably be the most interesting one. So we have these elements um, where I here is just a subset of the integers bigger or equal to two, um, such that they generate that ring. Um, this is as a right HWZ module.
And there's a bunch of very long relations that I, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna write them out here. Because yeah, it will take a little while. Okay, so let me, there's a, there's a couple of remarks. And just a second, so you take S, T2, T3, and so on, and also for infinite, for, for other infinite families, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, so I can maybe say some, some, some more about this before I go into some of the corollaries. Um, so remarks. Okay, so first of all, if I, I mean, there's an obvious map going from, um, so under the natural map. Um, where the natural map is just uh, the natural map going, which is the rank map going from HWZ down to H sigma two. Um, the elements are mapped as follows. So S goes to tau zero to the free tau one. TI go to tau I. CI go to Here, so the, the line just means conjugation. C1i goes to um, maybe I should say. So this just means the product here. And ti. Okay, so this is where they map. So you can think of, of S, T, they are actually all, they're just lifts of elements in here. Um, so this is, looks suspicious, but this is just, um, the square map takes, if you take the square and, and map um, C, I, C, J into this, then it will map to CJ. Okay. So one observation is um, first, maybe let me say HW. So this thing is isomorphic to KW tau, tau eta. So eta is in here. And algebra that I just wrote down has eta torsion. Okay, so yeah, that's one of the things that makes the computation a little more complicated. So you can compare it a little more to the classical BO smash BO story with Mahold and stuff. Because because this implies that um, this is not flat over the coefficient ring. Um, nice field means K 
Okay, this is an extension. F with so the second um, mod two molar k group is zero. Do you have any questions so far? Uh, probably not. So function fields of uh, complex numbers are nice, right? Yeah, complex numbers, finite fields, yeah, quadratic response fields. And function fields over them. Sorry? I mean, and function fields over them. Yeah, I mean, when you say extension is, uh, yeah, I mean, it could be an arbitrary extension. I mean, uh, the function field of a variety over C is also okay. Yeah, I, I think uh, anything cohomological dimension one is fine. I mean, uh, it is not cohomological dimension one. Oh, I mean, like up to cohomological dimension one. No, I mean, uh, could you take, say, a smooth variety of complex numbers and take it function field? Is it nice? I mean, it is extension of C, right? So it should be nice. Yeah, I think it's of transcendence degree one, right? So it should be nice. I mean, this, uh, this condition on the triviality of K2 is only for F, right? I mean, yes. uh, if you take a function field of f, I mean, um, a transcendence. Oh yeah, I mean, sorry. Yeah, if if we correct, yeah. Okay. So yeah, since the extension is over, so it's fine. Okay. But Thanks. the important part is that uh, eta here was already zero at at the level two. Oh, sorry, rho. That rho was already zero at the level two, and if, if you extend, rho will not common answer it will always stay zero because the root of mm -hmm. i will always still exist right okay yeah thanks okay let's what are the parallelities here so um so let me Set HW to be. So I invert eta and I will make, have this notation here. Um, then my fields H. So we just get a really nice ring here where the relations are pretty simple as well. And this you just simply get by Looking, looking at the algebra above and like inverting it out. Um, yeah, so this confirms like a, confirms the module structure, the HW module structure that um, Tambachon and my Kafkaans. Has computed. Recently, and in one of their papers. And so you could you could actually use this and compute the it inverted homotopy groups of spheres. Let me 
I think it's, I did this yesterday. So if there's any mistakes, um, I apologize, but like, here's how it goes. Um, they're given by the width group. Oh, I'm, I'm also, you also need to, to complete. Was actually that. No. Sure. Yeah, okay. Just write the answer and then we'll, we'll see. So, I mean, I'm I'm not I'm only considering for these fields, not not like the all the other fields. Ah right, yeah. And in this case, you don't have, yeah yeah you don't have real realizations, so yeah you don't have all this stuff. Okay, so here's here's the proof. Um, So let me just first define this to be that. Um, I'll call this just W. So then if we just look at the following cofiber sequence, I just take truncations of, of the sphere. I get this cofiber sequence and then let me take W module. Um, so I'll get this thing. This is one connective. So now I take homotopy groups uh, with respect to W, and I get the isomorphism like this for I big O equals to one. Right? This is because. This will only give me one group of zero and nothing else. So I get an isomorphism of this shifted with that here. Okay. Now I smash this with, um, with this truncation. Now this thing is too connected. Okay, which means I can compute zero, pi zero and one, right? So pi one of S just isomorphic to pi uh, one of S bigger equal to one, that's isomorphic to W one, W one S bigger equal to one, um, but now, I just use this isomorphism, say that this thing is isomorphic to W2, W. And for the degree reasons, that's just zero. Yes. Okay. So this tells me that, in fact, S bigger equal to one is S bigger equal to two. Right, so this thing here is not too connective. No, it's four connective, which means I can also compute pi two and pi three. Okay, so pi two of S is same argument as W three W, which again, degree reasons, that's just zero. Now pi three and much of two w four and that's that's x two. So there's a one w here. Okay. But again, this thing tells us that s bigger or equal to one is actually s bigger or equal to three. So Turns out this thing is actually six connected. 
Okay, so I can do pi four as well and pi five as well. So pi four. Pi w. And that is just isomorphic to wy. Okay. And pi five. Six. And that's just zero and zero. Okay. But that that's you can't you can't go as easily further than that. Um, but the above told us that we have a cofiber sequence like this. And I can just smash that with S bigger equal to J and get a cofiber sequence. And now this thing is three plus J connected. Okay. So this means that we have isomorphism. Like this um, in the range um, where J, uh, sorry, where I is between J and J plus two. Okay, so to compute to compute pi six now, we, we it suffices to compute. Um, just have to compute this group here okay so we again decompose this one here so we have Fiber sequences so our computations tell us that we have these co fiber sequences yes. so S small equal to three has two two uh, non-trivial groups in degree three, and the degree zero. So we have a grid of cofiber sequences like this, and um, if I take the middle one, and I apply WI homology, we get WI S bigger equal to four, as much of two. So we have to compute that thing. And to do that, um, we have to use this cofiber sequence. If I extend it, it'll be like this, and, and there's some map F, and now I have to figure out what is this map, OK? So to see what this map is, we plug in W4, okay, and then we get 4s because s well, is nothing other than degree zero. So four and going down the shift. It's three. Plugging this in here. Okay, so this is zero. So we get an isomorphism here. We get an isomorphism here. This is an isomorphism coming from, from this here, um, which implies 
that we have an isomorphism here. So this is just F applied on W homology. And so this is in degree so F, F of sin. And by dualizing the computation of we have, we know that this here has only one generator. And it's given by X2 dual. Okay, so we know that F and X2 dual. Great. Um, so now we can compute by six. So six S. So we use the sequence here to compute the middle part. Okay, so we plug in W7, W8, W4, W7, W7, W, okay. So this is zero by degree reasons. This here is given by X3. This here is given by X2. Remember this map is this dual. Um, so now we have to compute the diagonal X3 and it should be given by X3 times one plus X2 times X2 plus one times X3. Okay, which means this map here um, will take, will detect the X2 on, on, on the right side. So we'll just um, take this, cancel the right hand side, and this X2 will remain. In other words, this is an isomorphism. Takes X3 to X2. Um, yes. Which implies that this map takes zero which implies that W7 is zero. So this implies that pi six S is zero. Okay, and so now we can continue this thing on, for example, to get by seven. We now have to analyze um, the the by seven the this s bigger equal to to six. Oh, sorry, seven here. And again, we use the Schofield sequence. We just truncate on one side, and then by homology, and it tells us again. And then we do the same thing again. That's not the one that I want to use. Um, yeah, so I want to use, I want to decompose S small equals to four um, in terms of S small equals to three. And then in degree four, we saw that we have just one generator. And then again, take W8. Um, yeah, and now we can just compute 
same way we did before using what we know that the map is so that'll be zero. That will be zero. And we know that this here is. And remember that thing is this one. And we can do this on and on and on. Um, I haven't, yeah, written out like a, an induction precisely, but it should go some some something along those lines. I've I've also looked at the um, the algebra structure of and I've only played around a little bit, but. My guess was that it's given by something like so here a a squared is zero, b one squared. But yeah, that's just a wild guess after playing around with this for like five or for like 10 minutes. Um, those are the fast. What are the degrees? Oh, good question. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's definitely something I have to write down, make more precise. Okay. Do you have any other questions so far? Yeah. Um, is it the case that? Uh, I mean, for nice fields in W of K, uh, two is not important, right? What can you say again? Uh, is it the case that for nice fields in W of K, two is not important? Yeah, 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 that's right. Um, so since, I mean, the, the condition for nice fields, um, it's okay to, Um, is zero m plus i squared is zero. Yeah. So I think that implies exactly. It's like, okay. yeah, I guess it could be of degree four or two or something. Yeah, and yeah, you basically have only the rank on the letter discriminant quadratic form. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks. Um, I could go a little bit into, into how the proof goes. If you'd like to see that. Yeah. All right, um, so first, let me define the middle of the group. So this is the, um, 
free associative algebra. Um, Kx and an additional generator here. So elements here are given by A1, AI are units, and the degrees here are this is one, and eta is the degree minus one. Series. None of its K theory. Um, yeah, there's some relations are generated by. So we need logarithm rule. Okay, this B. And then we need some commutativity. Steinberg. And the last one is like the hyperbolic relation. Uh, H here is two plus two. And so, yeah, Miller K theory. I guess this depends on Miller K theory. It's just Miller width, not eta. And I will use the notation that lowercase k of k is given by Milner mod two. So the width one is given by modding out by the hyperbolic. So. So I'll need these because they 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 form like the zero line of, of the spectra that's uh, I will use to investigate. So um So in other words, if I take the cognitive cover of HZ, it'll give me the Milner module, HZ mod two, Milner mod two, and HWZ. So the underline means it's a holotopy module. All right, so the, the idea of the proof is pretty simple. Um, we have a pullback square. Um, simply by taking, um, if you just take coconut covers, you get this thing. Okay. All 
And so this just follows from the, the, the knowledge of the coefficient rings, which means um, knowing that the Milner conjecture is true. And so the idea, I want to smash this homotopy pullback square with, with some spectra. Um, to get uh, to get like the three other things to be something that I know. And I will do this a couple of times. So, um, for example, so if I smash with uh, HWZ, we'll get the following pullback square. Okay, and so I'll have to compute homotopy groups of, of these things. And then the hope is I can pull it back and get the answer for that, which is which is what I'm looking for. Right? So. Let me um, call this. One, two, and three. So if we compute these. So um, we'll be very lucky because it turns out if we take home topic groups, we'll still have a pullback square because it turns out these maps are gonna one of them is gonna be surjective. Okay. So you don't need the self-extension problems. Sorry? I mean so you don't have any extension problem. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Um this one I get by taking the square and, and smashing with HC mod two. Okay, so this because it's a square HC mod two smash HWZ. And then on the right side we have HC mod two smash HC mod two, which we know. And here we have something we potentially don't know yet. Okay, so we have a pullback square like this. And now, um, yeah, like I said, this one we know by this, by Vatsky computed this. And so the map here that goes down, um, this is just simply given by modding out by tau on the right hand side. So computing that the bottom is, is simply modding out tau. That's also no problem. Um, So the, the one thing that we don't know immediately is, is the one on the bottom left with, with the smash with KW. But to get this one,
So this is basically the defining Kofeber sequence of KW. Right? If I mod out KW by um, eta, I will just get Miller mod two. So we have a Kofeber sequence like this. And now we take HC mod two homology. And since HC does not say eta, this will give us a short exact sequence. Okay, it's actually split, but so we know this thing and we want to, we don't know the address. So what do we do? We simply compose this one. So far. So we get this map, let's call it D. And now this map is between two things that we know. Is that K Milner? Hello. Oh, you're right. Thank you. So you can one can compute what this map D is, and it's actually, it's just given by square and yeah, just given by, by the square on homology. So this is and since we know that the algebra structure of the serial algebra and the Hopf algebra board structure, actually, we can compute the same. Um, yeah. Okay, so. All right, um, oops. It's just the kernel of D, right? And the kernel of D is also the kernel of boundary because R is subjective. Yeah. Okay. So now we have we have this thing here. We've computed every single piece on, on, on these sides. And this map here is subjective. Again, I told you it's just given by modding out by T, by tau on the right side. So this is a subjective map. My idea of course tells us that is actually a pullback square also on, on homotopy groups. So we just pull that thing back and then we get that thing. So this takes care of that part. And the second one, it also will just be given by modding out by tau on the left. So that's OK. Um, but this tells us that this is a surjective map, which will later be helpful then, right? Okay, so the, the, the last thing that we need to take care of is this. And to do this, we just use the same Kofeber sequence. Okay. Um, but this time we apply homology on the right side. So we take
And again, we have this thing that we know. And we do the same trick here. So this thing here, we have just we've just computed that, and we can express it in terms of being um, a quotient of some subalgebra of the Steiner algebra. So this map D here can be expressed as square two. Um, oops, square two. So this time you have to take square two on the left hand side. And again, we know the structure of the standard algebra. So we can compute what the image of this thing is by computing um, so D and its homology. D is a derivation. And so it computes H of D which requires some linear algebra, playing around with the generators and all that stuff. And yeah, doing doing um, doing some square two computations. And then when we have this, we can show image of R is the same as kernel of D. Um, yeah, this, this follows by degree reasons, basically. After you have computed the homology, you can, you can conclude this by just like investigating what the degrees are and that certain degrees are just, there's just nothing there. Okay, and this implies that you um, can use um, Okayama to lift generators. The image of R. To get generators. K double of this thing. And this is this is what we want it. So let's go back to the picture we had before. This gives us that thing. And then, like I said, this is just modding out by tau on the left. So this is subjective. Hence, this is going to be a public square. So you have to take generators to get here, you take the generators to get here, and then you have to also consider what the, the kernel um, of this map is. So the taus are going to give you some more elements, which are the ti's that you saw earlier. And yeah, and then you can, can pull this thing back and, and get the answer. Yeah. 